بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Good evening to you, boys. Thank you so much for your participation during the class. Today we started uh, with the third lesson of unit number four. It was page number 52. The lesson name is very strange, right? So we started uh, with this statement that we can see with the two eyes. So does your left eye see the same thing as your right eye see? Let's try to find it out. There were two uh, experiments right, that you can see on this page, the jumping finger and the floating finger, right? So let's read the instructions for the jumping finger. Hold up a finger and close your left eye. Then move your finger so that it covers something on the wall or the outside. Here you can see the picture for the details. Now keep your fingers still. Close all uh, your close your right eye and open your left eye and then is it your fingers still covering the same thing and then close your left eye and open your right eye and see the difference right so your finger will jump uh, up and you will not see the same thing as you were li looking with the left eye All right, then the floating finger, find uh, a wall to look at, uh, point to two fingers at uh, the each side, hold your hands in front of your face, like this you can see in the picture. All right, uh, stare at the wall and can you see the tiny finger floating between your two finger tips? Mm -hmm. mm, this is what we have done during the class. Then uh, uh, we were listening to track number 31 and in this track we have seen that The girl, uh, she's just doing an experiment. Uh, look at her hands, that she's making a triangle with her hands and she's looking into that triangle. So then when she is closing up uh, her hands or towards her eyes, so the image changes. Right? And uh, Uh, where the hands are going, if it's going towards the right eye, so it means that you have a strong right eyesight, right? If it's going towards the left eye, it means that you have a strong left eyesight, right? Then the most important part of this lesson was these prepositions, which we were using according to these pictures, right? So see that uh, on, under, next to, between, near, in front of, and behind. Right, so here you can see that uh, the jug is on the table, right, and the dog is under the table. Uh, the tree is next to the old man, and here these singers, the, the musicians, are between the trees, right? The uh, rabbit is near to each other, and uh, the table is in front of the woman. And this man is standing behind the woman, right? So this is how that you can use these uh, prepositions to describe what, where the things are actually, all right? And this is your homework, uh, which you are going to complete at uh, the page number 44 and page number 45. So complete the homework and upload it on the school website. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next class. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.